Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Tenya K, and guess what? I am here to review Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've got four episodes I need to cover, and I'm not sure if I want to make it one long vlog and do all four, or if I'm going to split it up into four vlogs or two vlogs, one or two Buffy episodes per vlog. I guess it really just depends on how much detail I go into, how long-winded I get, and, you know, what, if I end up making a 20-minute video, then I don't think anybody wants to watch me yammer for 20 minutes. I'll probably end up splitting it up, but let's go. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 1, Episode I, Robot, You, Jane. Now, this is Willow's very first centric episode. Xander has already had two centric episodes. He had the pack and teacher's pet. So Xander's already got two under his belt and Willow only gets one this season. So what happens? Well, Willow accidentally scans a demon into the internet, Moloch the Corrupter, but Moloch apparently is looking for love too because he adapts an on-screen name and an on-screen presence named Malcolm and well her Malcolm Malcolm and Willow start to have an online relationship but he is a demon so he's wreaking havoc everywhere and they so Buffy and the gang need to figure out how to get him out of the internet back into the book or to somehow otherwise kill him so this episode, once again, it's a Willow-centric episode, we learn about what Willow's capable of. We see at the end when Willow, when Moloch is in his demon body, his robot demon body, and Willow really grows a backbone and starts beating, beating him up with a fire extinguisher. That's really the first time we see Willow standing up for herself. And I think that just foreshadows to how strong of a character she'll become. And actually, that scene where she's beating him up with a fire extinguisher really reminds me of the scene in season six. Um, the first episode where Tara acts her first demon in order to save Willow. So those two scenes actually seem pretty similar to me. And I see a lot of similarities between them. But anyways, back to season one. I'm not going to jump ahead six seasons. Back to season one. This episode also introduces Jenny Callender, the computer teacher. And when Giles confides in her that he needs help getting a demon off the internet, she reveals that she's actually a techno pagan. Jenny Callender is awesome. Jenny Callender is my favorite character, even though she doesn't last long. She's still my favorite character out of all of them. And she's just awesome her character is cool and amazing she's hip and she can tease Giles and she's got some really great one-liners and the fact that she just is so she just so easily slips into the world of Buffy the being the slayer and Giles and everything it's just it's effortless how she just slips into the storyline and becomes a part of the care and becomes a part of um, the group of main characters. And the only other thing I wanted to mention was, if you guys remember, way back in the very first episode, when Buffy asks Giles if he sent away for his calendar, and Giles corrects her and says, oh no, I got the phone. Well, guess what? Giles does end up getting his calendar. Only it's Jenny calendar. I don't think, I didn't think that explanation was needed, but just in case it was. So um, overall, a really great episode, very creative. I, um, it's, you know, it is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She slays vampires. So most of the demons are vampires, but Monster of the Week episodes are really great. They're not just a, not all of them are just, oh, this is a particular demon you gotta go fight. This had a really interesting, interesting twist. It's really unique. And I think starting with, this is the episode where I think Buffy, Buffy really starts to come, this show really starts to come into its own. And it starts to be, it starts becoming obvious how set apart from other mainstream television shows there were. And it was, this episode was the beginning of what foreshadowed at this being just an amazing, amazing series. So definitely props to this episode. And um, yeah, 
Alright guys, I'm just going to do the one episode for now, but please leave your thoughts and comments about what you thought of this episode, I Robot You Jane, if there were any flaws, um, anything you liked, anything you didn't like, or any backstories, any backstage stories you had. Whatever it is, go ahead and leave a comment. And I've been Tanya K, and this has been my Buffy review of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 1 episode, I Robot You Jane. Peace out everybody, and be good. Bye!